Here we have the ROG Strix B550F Wi-Fi motherboard. The perfect motherboard to go with your AMD Ryzen 3rd gen CPU. I haven't opened the box yet, so why don't we take a peek inside. So here we have the contents of the box. We have our Wi-Fi antenna, our B550F motherboard, an instruction manual, don't need that, a sticker sheet, ooh, a thank you card. And lastly, all the cables we'll need. Now that the motherboard's out of its protective sleeve, we can take a closer look at all its majesty. Here we have the 12 plus two power stage design VRM with the impressive heat sinks. Here are the two M.2 slots, both of which have heat absorbing armor plating to prevent throttling from heat. We have our two PCIe slots, one of which has ASUS exclusive safe slot metal reinforcements. Here we have the very cool RGB ROG logo lighting zone. You of course can customize and sync the lighting with your other ROG components. The metal surfaces all over the board have a really nice finish to them. The texture really captures the light in a special way. There's a classic ROG cybertext all over the board. Here we have some Japanese characters that read ROG ni sanka seo, be a part of ROG. There's even more detailing on the rear of the board. Here we have Veda Tail de Republic, join the Republic, and nice logo placement. My favorite feature of the ROG Strix motherboards is the pre-attached I.O. panel. In the past, I've forgotten to attach the I.O. panel until the very last minute, and that's no fun, especially when you think you're done building. Going back to the other goodies in the box, we have a nice thank you card, because we do really appreciate you choosing ROG for your PC builds. So you can put this on your fridge, next to your holiday cards, and your kids' drawings. The sticker sheet is both fun and functional. I think I'll put one of these stickers on my glove right now, to give it a bit more flair. The stickers below are the functional stickers. They are color coded so you can label your cables. When building, it's easy to lose track of where a cable is coming from and where it's going. These stickers should help you keep track of all of that. All right, so besides applying more stickers to my gloves, the only thing that's left to do is to remove the plastic film from our motherboard. I'll let you stick around to watch that as long as you like and subscribe for more ROG content and let us know in the comments what kind of PC you're gonna build with your ROG Strix B550F gaming motherboard. Just kidding, I'll let you watch it. Hello everyone, this is Andy from Ors. Today we will be looking at the motherboard many of you have been waiting for. It is the B550 Ors Master. Let's check out what's inside and go over some of the key features it has to offer. Let's get started. First, some basic info about B550. It's a new mid-range chipset which is compatible with the latest Ryzen 3000 series processors and something I cannot tell you at this moment. B550 is an important chipset because it makes PCIe Gen 4 affordable. In the past, if you want to have a taste of PCIe Gen 4, you need to upgrade to higher tier AM4 based motherboard such as the X570. But now with the arrival of the B550, you can embrace lightning fast speed of PCIe Gen 4 without breaking the bank. Back to the board itself, let's start with the power. Solid power will always be the core of a stable platform, and ORS is the brand that always insists on utilizing multiple phases of the power to help you build up a stable platform. For a mid-range chipset, ORS B550 Master still features 16 phases of direct power, with each phase delivering up to 70 amperes of the current which is amazing as it shares the same power design as our AM4 motherboard flagship, the X570 or Extreme. It means that it could fully support Ryzen 3000 series processors, even the flagship model like the 3950X. Or B550 Master also got the advanced thermal system, including the exclusive direct touch and also the thin array technology. 
With the red touch, the heat pipe directly touches the heating source VRM components that guarantees good contact between VRM and the heatsink. With thin array, the heatsink on both HEMO side and ARMO side uses its staked fins design, which increase the heat dissipation area by 300% when compared to traditional heatsinks of the same size and also provides at least 30% lower temperatures on Rome's feet. So with the advanced thermal system, ORS B550 promises more stable platform for gaming or multitasking. Complete PCIe Gen4 support is another highlight on ORS B550 Master. It has one PCIe Gen4 by 16 slot and three M.2 slots support PCIe Gen4 by 4. It means that it could fully support PCIe Gen4 graphic card such as Gigabyte 5500 XT or 5600 XT. Also, the PCIe Gen4 SSD such as ORS NVMe Gen4 SSD with the capacity up to 6 terabytes and sequential read speed up to 12,000 megabytes per second with RAID 0. You can fully enjoy the premium gaming from PCIe Gen4 graphic card, also the lightning fast data access from PCIe Gen4 SSD. ORS B550 Master also got the next gen I.O., especially the network I.O. to deliver lower pins for your gaming. It supports Intel 2.5 G LAN, also the Wi-Fi 6 with 2x2 throughput, which delivers lightning fast network speed for your gaming or content creation needs. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something about the new ORS B550 Master. This is Andy, thank you for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you guys next time. Hi, I'm Johnny Percy. I'm the director of the Met Film Group. The campuses are all based in working film studios. Both Ealing Studios and Bufa Studios in Berlin, they are, in fact, the oldest working film studios in the world. Our approach as an educator is driven by narrowing the gap between education and industry. It's imperative that our students learn to use every piece of technology in order to be able to prepare themselves for the world of work as it's changing. My name is John Joano. I'm the head of technology for Met Film School. We really face two main challenges working with technology. One is ensuring that what we're delivering is at a level that meets the requirements for the students. But secondly, it's, it's technology that is relevant to the industry. One of the key struggles we've had is equipping every one of our spaces at a price point that can actually be afforded. To have equipment that can actually display their pictures at the best possible quality. So we've installed the ProArt A1 projector into our post-production teaching space in the Ealing Studio campus. The first Kalman certified projector on the market. Immediately as we plugged it in and switched it on, we could see the difference compared to our existing devices. Out of the box, the device was pretty nearly perfect. Because it's such a big picture, the accuracy is there. Quite capable that we can run grading sessions with that and see the picture accurately. But also when you know, large group of students want to collaborate together, there is a capability that they can actually all do that in those rooms. We've been evaluating the ProArt StudioBook 16 OLED laptop. Now in terms of the performance, I don't have any laptop anywhere else that gets anywhere close to the performance that device brings. It has the Asus dial. As you're sat there in Adobe Premiere trying to move through your timeline, having that small jog dial that you can use to do that is an effective way of doing it. We've installed the ProArt PA32 UCG monitor into our main grading theater and we're using it as the grading device. It provides us with a whole capability that we've not had before in terms of the color accuracy and the fact it's a 4K HDR monitor. So this is the first time we've been able to do any HDR workflow. So being able to push an HDR signal out 
to the, the monitor and see the incredible brightness compared to anything else we've, we've used. Seeing graduation that we couldn't see on the monitors we had previously. We've also installed the ProArt PA27 UCXPK device, again into our main grading theatre. And we're using this as the main GUI interface. The very interesting thing is that when we run the two monitors side by side, they're providing pretty much the same picture. So along with the two grading monitors, we've also had installed the Scan 3XS ProArt Studio Workstation, which has given us a whole new uplift in both processing capability. You know, Asus have a history in terms of components so that you know, we know that they make great motherboards, they get graphics cards, and you know, putting them all together in a single box gives us that upgradability factor that we've always been lacking with you know, more traditional workstations. We're quite excited to get a 16-core AMD device that is scalable for us. It comes with Thunderbolt 4, so that means that we can plug in our external devices that are Thunderbolt-based. We've also been looking at the ProArt PA148 CTV portable monitor. It has a whole variety of uses that we can envisage. It's a small, portable, thin device, so actually it lends itself to connectivity to cameras. It's been quite amazing to see the picture quality increase has just been, I can't really put it into words, you know, the amount of detail that we're now seeing in the pictures. So all of those features mean that the students can now start to see the things that they've been shooting as accurately as possible. Well, I think looking across the range, you know, in terms of the display technology, seeing displays that are extremely colour accurate at a price point, there's nothing else that I can see competing with them. That gives us the opportunity to start our, our technology refresh putting these devices throughout the school. With the Tough Gaming B550M Plus Wi-Fi, you don't need to choose between high performance or a low price. You get gamer-friendly features at a price point that won't break the bank. The Micro ATX form factor gives you much of the utility you get from a full-size ATX board without the large case. This board's 8 Plus 2 DRMOS VRM has the efficiency to ensure your third-gen Ryzen CPU continues to perform even under sustained loads. The board features military-grade tough chokes and durable tough capacitors selected with longevity in mind, with up to five times the industry standard lifetime. There are two PCIe x16 slots with support for Crossfire X configurations. The main slot delivers PCI Express 4.0 speeds, and it has safe slot metal reinforcement to help prevent card sag or damage during transport. A pristine Realtek S1200A codec with DTS custom processing draws you deeper into the game. And ASUS AI noise cancelling mic technology ensures your teammates can hear you over distracting background noise like typing and clicking. For storage options, you get two M.2 drive slots, one of which features PCIe 4.0 connectivity. We include a flexible heatsink to prevent any heat related throttling from slowing down your SSDs. The I.O. panel provides a wide selection of connectivity options to choose from, including USB 3.2, Gen 2 Type-C and A ports, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, HDMI 2.1, and DisplayPort. With the built-in Wi-Fi 6 module, you get a strong and stable Wi-Fi connection with compatible routers. With one onboard Aura RGB lighting zone, an addressable Gen 2 RGB header, and two standard RGB headers, you get everything you need to customize your PC's look. Speaking of looks, you can take advantage of components from the Tough Gaming Alliance 
for a coordinated style and easy build. Build tough with the Tough Gaming B550M Plus Wi-Fi. If you like the video, please click on the like button, write a comment, and subscribe to my channel.